then at the crucial moment, the command was given by Wellington. With the raising of his hat, he ordered his entire army to advance bayonets forward. For king and country! Though many of the guard hold their ground, many others do something they had never done before. They turn and run. The word began to run up and down the ranks, la garde recule, the guard is retreating. Soon, most of the army follows. Within minutes, Napoleon's entire force is in retreat. All morale was broken. That was the end for them. Donnez l'ordre à l'artillerie de commencer le bombardement. Mon général, mais non. Dites-le leur Dites-le leur To cover his own escape, Napoleon orders his artillery to begin firing. Even though the barrage will cut down his own retreating troops. It was a shocking decision from a man the French army was devoted to. The final brutal military act of a once great leader. Voilà nous, votre excellence. À Paris. Et puis, seul le bon Dieu le sait. After nine brutal hours, victory finally belongs to the Allies but at a terrible cost. By the end of June 18, 1815, 40,000 men and 10,000 horses lay wounded or dead, and an empire is lost forever. If there is a lesson to be learned from the Battle of Waterloo, for the commander, it is that you must know and understand your enemy. And don't fight until you're absolutely ready to fight. Marshal Michel Ney was arrested by the newly restored French monarchy. He was charged with treason for betraying the king and executed by firing squad. Blucher retired after Waterloo, living another four years with the distinct pleasure of knowing he had ended the career of his hated enemy. Wellington became one of the most popular and powerful men in Britain, using his victory at Waterloo to eventually become the Prime Minister of England. Napoleon surrendered himself into the hands of the British authorities. The Allies exiled Napoleon to the most remote island in the Atlantic, St. Helena. Once the undisputed ruler of the greatest empire in the world, he would spend the last few years of his life as the emperor of nothing, a lonely man stranded on a desolate rock in the middle of nowhere. Napoleon fought and won more battles than Alexander the Great, Frederick the Great, Hannibal, and Caesar combined. And yet, we know him for Waterloo. What a tragedy. Waterloo was the last major decisive battle involving all of Europe until we get to World War I. But on June 18, 1815, no one knew this bloody battlefield would lead to a century of peace and prosperity for the entire continent. That night, Field Marshal Blucher and the Duke of Wellington met at the very inn where Napoleon had made his headquarters. Oh, 
On June 18, 1815, an entire continent was changed. The European Empire of Napoleon Bonaparte had been decisively crushed, and a single battle forever became a metaphor for final defeat. A battleground called Waterloo.